children, hello children, how are you? How are you? How are you? Great tools, are we okay? Are we together? How have you been? It's your teacher, Anonsieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow. We've been counting numbers. We've been counting forward and backward in twos, forward and backwards in fives. Now we want to use the counters. What if I'm told count in fives using the bundles of sticks? We said, what does this one represent? This one represents one bundle of 10 sticks. What about this one? Another bundle of 10 sticks. Now, I've been told. Now, count from 55. We are counting from which number? From 55. We count from 55. This is how many bundles of sticks do I require to make 55? Someone tell me how many from 50. I need those are two bundles of 10 sticks. That is 20. Three bundles of 10 sticks, that is 30. Four bundles of 10 sticks, that is 40. And five bundles of 10 sticks. Now, what if we are adding there the small ones? So the small ones, we are being told, we are counting from which number? 55, using bundles of sticks. Using bundles of sticks, we count from 55. And here we are with our 55. Now, we want to see which one will be the next number from 55. Which one will be the next number from 55? This is 5 tens and 5 ones, which gives us 55. So which one will be the next? So we are adding another 5 here. And if you add another 5 here, what will I have made? If I add five bundles of sticks on these ones, I already have one, two, three, four, five. So if I add six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which number do I make? I make another ten, which will be sixty. Then this one is fifty-five. So we are counting from fifty-five. Now, if I get another five sticks and I add them, what will it be? Plus five, what do I get? 65. What if I add another five bundles of sticks? I get a 70. I get a 70. So the rule continues. 5, 0, 5, 0. So the next number must have a 5, 2, which is 75. What about the next number? When you add 75 plus 5, the next number must have a 0, which is 80. Now, I've been told, wow, what if you're supposed to count backwards? What if you have been told, count backward? So we are saying from 80, we go 80 backward. Which one is the next number? We are reducing 75. When you reduce, it will be 70. We come. After 70, we have 65. After 65, we have 60, then 55. Wow. So what does it mean to count forward? Forward in 5, it means plus 5. And backward means take away 5. So if you count forward in 5s, it will be 55, 60, 65, 70. 75, we continue. 80, 85, 90, 95. 100. And if you're supposed to count backwards, we will start with 100. 100 is here. Then we come to 95, 90, 85, and then 80, 75, 70, 65, like that, up to 55. So I want you during your free time to fill in count and tell me how many they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the second one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you tell me how many they are. And this one now is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. So, and you tell me how many are they? So, if for example, you are told to ask here, this is ten plus another ten plus five. So, ten plus ten gives you twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I get a 25. Then again, count. How many tens are these? This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 tens is equal to which number? 4 tens gives us 40. Now try the last one so that we finish up counting forward and backwards in 5. It was such a nice experience having you around and attending this lesson. Nice to see you and hope I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you.